Hello Internet, I'm Zahn and welcome to another Let's Play. As you can see from the title screen here, the game I'm going to be playing through today is one that's been around for a little while. It was recently getting some buzz because of a new update that came out and this is No Man's Sky, or technically No Man's Sky Next. Now this game since we have a little bit while it loads up. This game had a little bit of controversy and a lot of press around it when it came out. I think it was last year. The actual game announcement and development had been very highly publicized when it was being developed by Hello Games. And part of the controversy stemmed from the fact that the final product that launched when it originally came out on Steam was a game that didn't really meet the hype and demands of people who have been following the development. A lot of the core features or things that they had promoted in the development and press leading up to the game's release wasn't quite there when the game came out and that made a lot of people really upset. And this game was, I think it technically was listed as early access. When it came out, it retailed for $60, and given the fact that a lot of the features people were looking for weren't there, that caused a lot of backlash, and the game was very heavily criticized when it came out. For me, I had not really followed this game's development. I had heard it mentioned at some of the major gaming shows like E3 and whatnot, but I had never followed the developer-specific release information leading up to it. I had just heard a lot about it, so I had no expectations when the game officially launched. Which ended up being good because I didn't have high expectations. I just played the game and tinkered with it for a little bit. And I enjoyed it. I haven't played it in a while. But with the release of Next, a lot of things have apparently changed. So I figured, since I have started looking at games on Steam, this one would be a good one to dive back into, starting up a brand new file, and seeing what's changed, and just seeing where the journey takes us. So, I guess I need to hit E to start up here. And I, I am playing this on PC. So hopefully... Hopefully my PC build will get decent quality here, so we'll, we'll test it out. Right away, the game sort of drops you in, and I it's been forever since i played it from the beginning, so I do not remember what the intro, quote-unquote, story cinematics are. I remember... I remember when you started the game, when it launched, you are basically dropped into the world with a broken ship and no tech and you had to sort of scrounge around to find upgrades and basic components before you could even take off and explore. So I can see right now I think I... Ah, okay. This is new. The ability to play this game in third person is not something that happened at launch. In fact, there was no real defined player model at launch. I wonder if I can change that since I'm used to playing this game with um, first person. Let me see. General options. Music, sensitivity. If it, it ends up taking me a while to configure how I want to play the game, I'll just cut this stuff out, so... Let's see... The graphics options? No... I think it would, think it would be... General options... Look, move controls, inverted, yeah, keep that the same. Flight controls, so 
keep that tethered. Huh. That's strange. I don't see uh, first person or third person option. figured it out. It was not in the, the system settings. It was in one of the sub-menus. It's actually good to mention in case it ever comes up. The X button, which brings up the, the in-game menus, has an option where you can uh, change the camera, which is good to know. Alright. I appear to have spawned on an ice planet, which is when I don't have any sort of protection and I'm going to start dying. I want to explain the HUD and everything here but I need to get out of get out of the ice before I die. I'm probably going to die. While I'm sort of running for my life just to find shelter from the extreme cold, the Left side of the screen, lower corner, the environmental protection, which has a shield with an ice snowflake on it, that is my shields, which are affected by the surrounding environment. Or technically, sorry, my mistake, the, the shields are in a different spot. In the upper left, the shield icon, that's my overall shields, I believe. The shield with the ice icon is the environmental protection. When that is depleted due to high cold, low cold, high heat, or anything else, then it starts to eat away at my main shields, which is what the upper left bar that's red and flashing is. And the heart with the little monitor on it uh, below the shield and the ice snowflake. That's my life. Okay, I wonder if that's my stamina. The HUD's changed a little bit, so I, I need to sort of re-familiarize myself with what's what. I seem to recall the little plus sign or health in the upper left under my red flashing bar is my life. I think every time I take critical damage, one of those goes away, and if I lose all three, then I die for real. My stamina is in the lower right. It's the little running guy. When I hit shift, I can sprint. And it once it depletes, then I can't run for a little bit. Uh, I guess that was my shields going down. Because I'm still out in the cold, so I'm in immediate danger. I need to find a cave or something where I'm gonna die on my feet out here in, in the tundra. Let's see. This is not a good spot. Okay, so all of my shields and life support are down. As, let's see. This is my menu. Hazard protection, which would protect me from extreme cold. I need sodium, sodium nitrate, ion batteries. I think these are all the things that will recharge it. This is my life support. Oxygen. Life support gel. Uh, where are my shields? Oh while I was in the menu, I died. 
I guess I froze to death. Well, that sucked. Did I lose everything else in my inventory? Looks like I did. I wonder if the game still marks your, your death spot with a icon so you can pick up what you dropped. I need to find. I need to find a safe spot to sort of sit so I can get my bearings and also explain what's going on in the game. Oxygen rich plant. Okay, so that's for my life support. Damaged machinery. Needs cobalt to open up. I guess I can get certain things from there. Oh, this is not safe. I am in a poison cave. Oh, I gotta get out of there. Well, I happen to spawn on one of the most hostile planets, ecosystem-wise, I could possibly start on. My hazardous poison protection, or bio, which is what the biohazard symbol was. That's fine, but now I'm still stuck out in the cold. I gotta go find a... Oh, there we go. I need to go find some sort of protective cave or something. Otherwise I'm going to freeze to death again. Where did that icon go? A little tombstone-ish looking icon was where I died. Just saw it. That would have let me pick up my bits of inventory that I'd gotten from before. Dihydrogen. I can't identify some of the resources that are in the world. Let's see, how do you, how do I scan? No, oh, I can't because it's broken. That's one of my first objectives. Ferrite dust to repair the scanner. I have not seen ferrite dust. It looks like I can get some ferrite dust from those. My grave is just over this hill. Got 30 ferrite dust. How much do I need to repair my scanner? No, 
I need 75. 75 ferrite dust. Let's see if I can... Oh, wow, my gray's all the way out there. Oh, boy. It's kind of throwing me off, starting with no upgrades. Sodium. Okay, sodium are the yellow plants. They renamed everything. All the things that I'm used to looking out for have different names now. But the yellow sodium plants can recharge my environmental protection. And the oxygen that I'm picking up will recharge my life support. So I need to gather everything that I see so I can keep all of my basic core systems up and running while I try and seek out some safe place to get my bearings here. Forty-eight ferrite dusts almost there. Well, at least I got my inventory back. 